Studio Epic. Studio Epic's coming to you today from a different location. You'll see this is the back of my apartment where I'm filming at today. This will just show you that you can really do woodworking projects pretty much anywhere you want. You just need a little bit of room and just a few tools to get it done. Today's project is going to be we're going to make a small toolbox, a wooden toolbox. This is going to be something that beginners can do. Very, very simple project that we'll be working on today. You can see I set up a block here uh, on my monitor saw to cut these end boards for the uh, toolbox. This is going to be, uh, I'm using a 1 by 10, so it's about almost 9 and 3, excuse me, 9 and 1 quarter inches wide. We're going to cut this, we're going to make it square, so we're going to cut the same width as it is wide. And I have just a simple little shave board I have here, and I use it as a guide. And I set up my gauge based on that. So uh, we're going to cut the ends right now. Now when you slide this board up here, you want to be careful that you don't bump it too hard and slide your block back a little bit. So you just want to go slowly up there, make sure it's up there good, make sure it's pushed against your fence good, and then cut it. And if you're using a slotted miter saw like I am, remember you need to come all the way out and cut back. Now I don't know if all table if all miter saws come with one of these little gauges or not, but I have a little gauge right here on the end where I can set it up to cut boards all the same length. Now the first boards I cut, uh, my gauge was too long to actually use it, but for the, these uh, next boards, we'll be able to use this little gauge here. So we're going to cut the bottom 16 inches, and then we want to go ahead and cut both of the sides 16 inches. Again, when you push your board out there, don't hit it too hard where it'll bump it out and make your cuts get longer. So we're gonna measure up two and three quarters and make a little mark there on each side. Then we're going to find the center, this board, and then we're going to measure from the center. We want to go an inch on each side of that, and we're going to want to cut this out just right across here, just like that. I'm going to do trial and error to find where I need to cut these at, and you can see that. This is going to be pretty close right there to uh, cutting the line that we want to cut it at. So I'm going to make sure bo both my boards are squared up on here together. And I'm going to cut these at the same time. So now we got it lined up on the other side to cut it. Our center line should be pretty close, but we're going to go ahead and double check it here and see what, how it is. And it's pretty close still, so we're going to go ahead and use that as our line. And we're going to measure uh, three quarter of an inch now and put it, and that's where we're going to use the center for to drill a hole in this. So. So here you can see kind of what our uh, toolbox is going to look like and so I'm going to start pre-drilling holes and get ready to screw this together. So as you can see there's a little bit of a gap on each end so whenever you put your screws in it hopefully it'll suck that on up and so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill a new hole actually a little bit higher. I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill another hole. So uh, if you're watching this, you should probably go ahead and wait to pre-drill your holes until you get this lined up in case you come across something similar to this. You can see that it pulled it up real nice. So we're going to go ahead and pre-drill another one here in the middle. Remove our clamp. 
and this side will be finished then. Now we're going to go to the other side. You can see one small mistake I made is that there's a gap right here. Um, so one, mis one way to fix that is whenever you're cutting this angle here is maybe go ahead and get this frame this bottom two boards put together first so you have a good spot to mark to measure your diagonal good off of so after I broke my blade on the jigsaw I went down to Walmart and bought a hacksaw so we're going to go ahead and take this out of the package and we're going to go ahead and get that a uh, piece of conduit cut now. Yeah. Man, you talk about a blooper reel today. Golly, bits coming out. Now when you drill this hole, you want to make sure that you don't actually turn it or anything so that the screw will go into it. The toolbox, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it wasn't quite as easy as I planned on it being, but uh, we got it finished finally. Then we're going to see about maybe doing a part two video with the uh, toolbox. So there's not going to be any sanding or painting or standing or anything currently. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted on that if I end up getting a part two in. Uh, there should be a subscribe button somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure where it's going to be. It's going to be on the screen somewhere. Just please click that to get in, stay in tune with all the videos coming out here in the future. And uh, there's a button below you can hit like and you can like the video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and thanks for coming back and seeing another video. Studio Epic. Epic. Epic.